hit the wall with its devastating outcomes, tertiary institutions in the Gambia, like any other sector, has experienced a backlash in its financial gain, while private schools are the most affected with almost no help from the government to support itself or students. Now joining me on the line to discuss more on this matter is Sang Mendy, the Managing Director of Media Academy for Journalism and Communication. Well, many thanks, Sang Mendy, for joining me on the line. Now, how, how, how has been the uh, pandemic affected your institution? Well, thank you very much, Amadou. Um, three ways. It has affected uh, my institution economically. It has also affected our institution um, in terms of um, our training programs. And, you know, socially, it has affected us because we've been so socially connected to our students to the point that we are missing them so much and we want them back. All right. Now, is your school um, having any alternative on migrating online to continue its classes? I want to migrating online is everyone's wish in this in, 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 in the in the world. But then you will understand that uh, migrating online requires um, two things. It requires um, the financial resource to be able to, uh, to, 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 to to do a blended learning program in blending both the, 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 uh, the online, the virtual classes and also um, sending them recorded video materials or other um, teaching materials. Um, quite apart from that, um, it also requires that you need to fully train your people as to how to deliver training um, training programs online. So when I when I hear people always talk about um, you know doing online classes, what comes to my mind is how much capacity building training have you had as a trainer to be able to deliver an online class. So um, these two things con con um, 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 put together. Um, will we'll always guide you to to um, to be doing this um, um, online training. But apart of, apart from that, even Amadou, you will understand that internet in the Gambia is so so expensive. Now, who bears the brunt of the online the the, 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 the internet um, that is going to be used for the online? The, the, the institution can provide internet for the trainers, but can it provide internet to its students who have actually paid tuition fee meant to have been delivered offline? So it has to, it, it, it comes in an integrated way that um, you need to consider a lot of things to be able to deliver online class. We've seen in, um, situations where institutions actually deliver online classes, including us, and students were complaining about um, um, internet um, problems, also about um, the training not being, um, you know, interactive. But even apart from these things, one has to be disciplined enough to be able to take an online class. Because an online class requires attention, it requires a, a quiet place, and majority of us live in family homes where even taking an online class is a, is a, is a, is a, big, is a big challenge. Uh, all right. Now, now, now Sang, as, as a managing director, of course, you mentioned or you talked about your students, but what impact does it have on your staff as well? Well, uh, it has a big impact. That's why I said it, it, it affected us, uh, you know, financially. Because um, um, since this thing started, we knew very well that um, we were owed by the students close to a million dollars in Amadou. Revealing this for the first time, the students who are just less than 150 students in Magic owe the school, the institution, close to a million dollars. Um, then you wonder how have we been paying salary all this while? So um, when it happens, actually we have to keep we have to keep our staff on salaries because we cannot lay them off like that on um, full time salary for three months, including myself and the director of training and all senior management team. We put them, we put everyone on full time salary for three months. But even before that, myself and the director of training didn't have salaries because we were struggling already before the pandemic. You know, so after three months within the pandemic, um, we put, decided to also put our staff on half salary, including myself and the director of training. So after the six months, really, all of us went without salary. And um, this is really disheartening for me, not because I am not receiving salary, but because 
are working for, for, for me and I am unable to pay them. And I know very well that these are responsible people who have their families, who have their relatives to take care of. So this is really disheartening to me. Uh, all right. Just, just finally. Now, um, have you been given any subvention from the GPU or government or any of your partners? Well, um, <laughs> I would have loved that, you know, government or even the, 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 the relief package that was created for the media, that it, were, it would have considered Journalism Training Institute, just like the, the Ministry of, um, of Tourism did for training institutes that are delivering, um, that are delivering tourist-related courses, because we know that and we are aware that the, tourist, um, the tourism relief package also covered institutions that are delivering um, you know, tourism related courses. But as I am speaking, Amadou, I am not aware of any sort of relief package um, you know, put in place for um, you know, in, um, training providers that are doing different um, technical and vocational training, including my institution. So the GPU actually, maybe it is on the pipeline, but as of now, they haven't. But they have been supporting the institution for quite a while, because you also know that the Media Academy for Journalism and Communication is an, an institution that belongs to the Gambia Press Union. All right. Managing Director of the Gambia Media Academy for Journalism and Communication, Sang Mendi, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Amadou. All right.